hindsight may be 2020. You've heard that, right? But some people are now asking how easy President Obama's re-election would have been had the American public had any idea he'd break his keep your health plan promise. More questions, how many politicians knew millions of people might get cancellation notices and went along anyway? And what will all this mean to next year's midterm elections? Chris Plant is the host of The Chris Plant Show, and Leslie Marshall is a syndicated radio talk show host. They are my guests today. Good to see both of you. Hi there. Good to see you, Gretchen. Good so, morning. And good, you, Chris. And good afternoon. And so, Leslie, how would this have changed the scope of the election? I mean, all the polls show that Romney would have won. Um, well, I, I say the polls are one thing, but you just got to break it down into the sheer numbers of the electorate. And the Electoral College is what decides uh, the winner in a presidential race in this country. Uh, first of all, the polls also show that the majority of Americans did not want this health care law, which, Chris, I know you like to say a lot. Uh, secondly, this is not what the American people voted for the president for. At the time of his election, it wasn't even in the top three. Economy, jobs, that's what Americans were concerned about. Yeah, the, but, we were out of the recession. But that was the economy before, was turning around. But that they was didn't before elect Americans him for Obama knew that the president was breaking a huge campaign promise. And I don't know if you can equal that out re with regard to trustworthiness, right, Chris? I mean, how would that have factored into how people felt when they went in to vote? Well, I mean, you've got to ask whether we had a fair and honest election last year when the president and his signature piece of legislation were sold to the American people based on a series of what we now know to be lies that the according to the Federal Register and Department of Justice documents, the administration and Democrats knew full well that millions would lose their health insurance. We've got, uh, you know, the New York Times admitting over the weekend that it is, in fact, at its core, a redistribution of wealth scheme. This is not exactly what was sold to us. Mark Halperin of Time Magazine admitting today that the IPAB is, in effect, a death panel that will save money by denying coverage. If the American people were told the truth about this, uh, you've really got to call into question whether President Obama would have won re-election. Well, well, how, does, and it, given, how, do, how does it affect I'm the I'm sorry, given though. that they knew this, uh, you know, should they be held accountable well, And that brings me to my next point, because the midterms are coming up real quick. 2014, mm -hmm. Leslie, a CNN poll shows the GOP has catapulted over the Democrats now 49 to 47 percent. The reason I say that is because just a month ago they were 10 points down. Between now and election time, both could go up and down. You know that's a lifetime away. It really will depend not just about the Affordable Care Act, but still what the polls show that Americans care most about is the economy and jobs. You have to remember the last election, uh, most of the states that the president won over Mitt Romney were blue-collar working states. And these people, I think, were very upset by uh, Mitt Romney's comment, comment about the 47 percent, viewed him as being uh, uh, definitely yeah, yeah, somebody yeah. who couldn't uh, understand but, their positions. But and I, I think, think they would have voted the same feeling, way. And I do think Democrats will prevail in the next election. It'll be interesting to see now that people are actually feeling Obamacare. It's one thing to see it on yeah. paper. It's another thing to live it. Moving on to this, dozens of news organizations protesting the White House's press restrictions, but two newspapers going further, saying they will no longer print pictures of the president like this one given to them by White House photographers. They say it's because their photographers aren't getting the same access anymore. The News Tribune out of Tacoma, Washington was first to do this. Now one of America's most widely circulated newspapers, USA Today, joining the ban. So Chris, will more follow suit? Well, I would hope so. And let me say it's about time. And let me say I'd like to know where the New York Times and the Washington Post and the rest are. Uh, one of the news photographers at the White House compared the White House practice to the practices of TASS, the Soviet news agency, handing out official photos that the news media would then dutifully reproduce as though it were legitimate news. I mean, I think the White House should hand out a photo of President Obama's head taped on a picture of Vladimir Putin coming shirtless out of the brush with a rifle in his hand and see if the Washington Post oh, will publish that as a legitimate on. news photo. Come on, Chris. I mean, this I is a disgrace. Joking. This is a disgrace, and the news media really is the guilty party here. For five years, they've been taking these government handout photos and treating them like their news product, and, and now it's being led by a Tacoma, Washington paper yeah, that but, but, most but Americans USA have Today, never heard of. Okay, Leslie, now USA Today, not known as a conservative newspaper, has said, nah, we're mm -hmm. not good doing it anymore either. Your thoughts? 
Oh, well, having a degrees in broadcast journalism, I have to say that journalists, newspapers especially, are supposed to report the news to uh, their readers. And I feel that you have to have a certain level of respect for the office of the president, regardless of who is there. I feel Good that job. it is irresponsible in their decision not to give all of the news uh, to their readers. Of course, they have a right to decide what's in or out. But where does this go next? They're not going to they're well, not going to cover when Jay Carney's but, speaking in Washington. No, but you're and missing let the, the first part of the story, though, Leslie. USA you're today. missing the first part of the story. The you're missing the first part of the story, which is that they're not allowed in to cover the news that they want to. That's the difference here. And that's why they're finally saying we're not just going to be handed the photos that some would say make the president only look good. Uh, Chris right. and Leslie, got to wrap it up there. Happy Thanksgiving. We'll see you soon. Thanks, Gretchen. Happy Thank Thanksgiving. You. Thank you.